today I'm going to be showing you how to make a classic American dish with an Asian twist. As you know, Thanksgiving is coming up next week and I thought it would be really cool to do something that kind of represents me as a person and also incorporates this holiday. If you didn't know, I am half Japanese and half American. So a couple things I decided to do to incorporate the Asian into the American dish is instead of using typical pumpkin, I decided I'm going to use a kapocha pumpkin, which is this right here. And it's a Japanese pumpkin. It's basically the same as a regular pumpkin. I think it's a little bit sweeter. I like the taste, and I think you will too if you try it out. I also decided to kind of incorporate some Chinese five spice and ginger and those kind of flavors into the pie so that way you'll get that Asian feel but it'll still be like a classic pie. So let's get to the kitchen and I will show you how I'm going to make my Asian inspired American pumpkin pie. First we are going to cut the stem off of our kabocha pumpkin and then we're going to cut the pumpkin in half. Take a spoon and scoop out all of the seeds of the pumpkin until it looks like this. Now we're going to pour some water into a pan and put a steamer on top and place the entire half of the pumpkin inside of the steamer and cover with a lid. Now just let that steam for 20 minutes and you're going to know it's going to be done when you can poke a skewer through it like this. Now we're just going to peel the skin off of the pumpkin with a spoon and it's super easy. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees and put the pumpkin into a food processor or a blender. This is going to be when we add our spices too and I'm going to leave all of the exact measurements for everything in this recipe in the description bar below. Now we're just going to add our sweetened condensed milk. Now just blend everything together until it's really creamy like this. Oh, and don't forget to add your salt like I almost did. Next, we're going to pour our puree into a bowl and add our egg yolks one at a time and stir them in. When it's done, it should be smooth and shiny like this. Next, we're going to do the pie dough for the crust and now we are going to do the pie crust. Now I cheated and bought pre-made pie dough, but if you want to make your own, I have a video that shows you how to do that and I will leave a link right here on the screen. Um, I put my pies in little ramekins like this and all you do is you cut the outside of the pie dough around the ramekin and you just start to put it inside of the little cup. You just press around the edges like this until it's fully inside and with the outer edges on the top you can do whatever you want. Um, you can just press it down like this and make it really simple or you can get creative and do little designs like I did here. Now we are going to pour our pie filling into the little ramekins and you want to fill them up just so they're almost full but not completely because this filling does rise a little bit in the oven. So we're going to put them in our oven and cook them for 10 minutes at 425 degrees. Alright, so after you've cooked them for 10 minutes, instead of taking them out of the oven, we are actually going to lower the temperature down to 350 degrees and then cook our little pies for an extra 20 minutes. And these are the finished pies. So you can either eat them like this or decorate them like I am with some whipped cream and cinnamon. Okay, so these are the finished pies. And I think they turned out really cute looking. Um, I put a little bit of whipped cream and cinnamon on top. You just scoop into it. Super good and creamy. Alright, I'm gonna try it. One, two, three. Itadakimasu! That's really good. I like this a lot. I would definitely give this recipe a try if you are looking to do something a little different this Thanksgiving. And if you decide to try this recipe out, send us a picture or a video response. 
And you can send it to us on here on YouTube, or you can check out our Instagram, which is just at Ame and Rain, or you can check out our Facebook fan page, which I will leave a link to somewhere like here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching so much, and I will talk to you later. Happy cooking. Bye.